What's good everyone, it's your boy you dig 4 eyes 2 gs here, and today we're here to talk about ASAP Berg and the rest of the ASAP mob. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, ASAP Berg was apparently kicked out of the ASAP mob, according to ASAP Ills and ASAP Bari at least. Now, of course, this news went crazy, everybody was talking about it, and everybody was kind of shocked. However, then, since then, we've also seen another member of the ASAP mob, ASAP Nas, come out and say that he actually isn't kicked out of the mob, he's still a part of it, and this was just a bit of a dispute behind the scenes, and I don't think a lot of people talking about this or reporting it so i want to break it down let's go heart attack when she threw a bag i whoa leave me alone don't hit my phone i'm just enduring the low hearing his face hearing his frogs they friends to put on a show i work for the shit who are you with feeling like 12 on a low snakes in the grass and sticking and sliding asking me who do i know yeah i got my bath and i blow it Okay, first of all, let's just kick it off with some context and kind of the lead up to this. So, if you guys weren't aware, ASAP Ills posts a series of stories relating to ASAP Berg and him being kicked out of the mob. This was kind of the first one that set it all off. Ferg ain't ASAP no more, sorry guys, that people burned out, songs dumb trash, Mr. Anthem can't get it right. Now, in response to this, I've seen a lot of people come out and say, who the hell is ASAP Ills, he's irrelevant, etc, etc. So, let's just add some context to this in case you guys didn't know. Now, ASAP Ills is actually a founding member of the ASAP mob. He was there when it first started, and he's somewhat of a youth culture figure. He doesn't rap himself, but he's very engrossed in the SoundCloud, Instagram, fashion, music scene. And he's also got a pretty popular streetwearish brand called Disco Inferno, which you guys probably would have seen before. If you guys haven't seen this, you probably would have seen their beanies, which are very popular. People like Lucky have rocked them a lot, and I don't mind them personally. But yeah, if you guys seen this around, just know this is ASAP Ills' brand. And more importantly to me, ASAP Ills is actually responsible for a couple really important Cardi songs. So Red Lean, he actually leaked a while ago now and also on top of this we so proud of him slash tally was in fact leaked by asap ills as it says right here so yeah if not for asap ills we wouldn't have red lean and we wouldn't have we so proud of him so the cardi community owes him a lot as well anyways let's get back to this right here and even if this turns out to be not true one thing i can respect about this right here is that asap ills can be honest about asap berg's recent music because let's be honest ferg is sounding a little burnt out and the songs just aren't hitting the same anymore and we've kind of known this for a while come on let's be honest ferg absolutely peaked with Trap Lord in 2013. That has classics upon classics, Shaba, Work, Let It Go, etc, etc. Then from there, he's pretty much gone downhill, always strive and prosper. I don't know what that was. Ferg Forever, that probably had two or three good songs, still striving, was mid as hell. And Floor Seats did have a couple bangers that kind of go ham live, but still, it was kind of mid overall. As I said, over these albums, I still think Ferg has made good music, but let's just be honest, in terms of a complete project, nothing is hit like Trap Lord, and that's just a fact. But let me know what you think. Anyways, let's just continue with the stories. So apparently Ferg sent him these texts right here saying, call me, stop playing with me, etc, etc. And then Ills says to him, why the fuck are you texting me for? Get off my line. Then ASAP Ills goes on to say this, people be a man and try to pick your brain and steal, not to be loyal and real. And this idea of Ferg not being real and being a bit of a snake is kind of a common sentiment. As you can see right here, Ferg Loki became a snake. And then on top of this, ASAP Ills kind of calls him out for kind of styling Ferg behind the scenes in the Yamborghini High video, saying yes, I turned him up, he had no sense of style, this is my Hermes scarf and Cartier glasses, etc, etc. And to be honest, in this case, like, I think this is kind of a bit corny from Ills. Like, come on, everybody should know by now that rappers have stylists. Rappers don't actually own all the clothes they wear, especially in music videos. A lot of that time, those clothes are just used for those music videos and then they go back to the stylist. And if you're a part of the ASAP mob, you would kind of expect people in the mob to share clothes with you, etc, etc. So yeah, I just found this a little bit corny myself, but let's keep continuing on. It's always a reason behind everything, trust me. Been quiet long enough, don't let these people fool you into brotherhood when they're not really for you and what you stand for. So it's clear at this point there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff and there's a lot of personal tension between ASAP Ills and ASAP Berg. Then he also says, we created the textbooks of pages you still from. And I don't really get this point right here because if Ferg is a part of the mob and is kind of taking influence from mob related people like ASAP Ills, isn't that kind of the whole point of the mob? You know, the mob is kind of like this creative hub of all these cool fashion music related people to kind of influence each other and create all this cool art together. If ASAP Berg takes from ASAP Ills, I don't really see that as much of a problem compared to if someone else outside of ASAP was directly stealing from ASAP Ills, for example. But that is just my perspective on it. Anyways, let's move on to what ASAP Bari had to say on the situation, who is Young Lord on Instagram. If you guys didn't know, let's read it out right here. Quote, he said what he said. ASAP Ills started ASAP. If it wasn't him, it wouldn't have been no ASAP. So praise ASAP Ills. And this to a lot of people kind of confirmed everything 
and confirmed the fact that Ferg was no longer with ASAP because it was no longer. It was just saying it. Bari came out and said it as well. Now, from my perspective, there's been an issue between Bari and Ferg for a while. If you guys don't remember when the whole Bari sexual assault situation happened, ASAP Ferg actually came out and spoke against ASAP Bari's behavior pretty honestly, saying, quote, we don't condone that type of behavior. Whenever they showed the video or spoke about it on YouTube, it would be the Shaba ranks B-roll in the back of my video. And it's like, damn, I have nothing to do with that shit. But what happens is you're guilty by association. So it's pretty clear that there's been some tension between Ferg and Bari for a while if we're going off these statements right here. So possibly Bari already had tension with Ferg and this just kind of added to it. Now, finally, let's get to the recent comments by ASAP Nas that happened two hours ago and I haven't seen too many people talk about. So let's read through them right here. The Trap Lord, who is ASAP Ferg, was not and will not be kicked out of ASAP. False news, everybody go home, ASAP forever. Designer boy out on streaming services right now. Man, Nas, nobody wants to hear about your music, bro. Let's just keep reading on. Disputes happen in families all over the world, every day B. It's extremely embarrassing and unnecessary for it to happen the way it did, but it did, and this will be taken care of the right way. Good night all. Now, I think ASAP Nas is speaking super facts in this situation. One, everybody knows how families and friends work. People are always gonna have disputes. People won't always see eye to eye, etc., etc. So people go through their own tension-fueled relationships, and then maybe they break down for a day or break down for a couple days, and then generally they'll kind of reconvene and maybe get back together. We see this happen all the time with beefs and rap, and eventually most of the time they do patch it up and kind of get back together, which ASAP Nas is suggesting did happen here. And finally, this last tweet right here is so accurate. It's extremely embarrassing and unnecessary for it to happen the way it did, but it did, and that is just facts. ASAP Ill's tweeting out this, assuming that Ferg is still part of the mob, is crazy, and this is just something that shouldn't happen. Even if Ferg was kicked out of the mob, this is just something that you shouldn't take public and kind of air out your dirty laundry like this, especially exposing texts like this. Like, it really is kind of embarrassing and really, really unprofessional, especially for people as big as the ASAP mob to be doing it. So yeah, I do agree with Nas on that level. But hopefully overall Nas is right in this scenario. I definitely don't want to see Ferg kicked out of the mob because of course Ferg is such an integral member of the mob. He's definitely one of the biggest artists to come out of that whole mob ecosystem. Plus on top of this, for as much trials and tribulations the mob have gone through over the years, we've never really seen a publicly facing member leave the mob in a way like this with an Instagram story like this and they just get kicked out. So in that case, if it is true, it's just a bad way to go out and I think it's just a bad look for the mob in general. But yeah, as I said, Hopefully it's not true. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below though. And as I said, let me know what you think about the state of Ferg's career right now. Do you like the music he's been making? Do you think he's cold? Do you think he's hot? Let me know in the comments. Also, before we finish this video, guys, I want to give a couple quick shout outs from the Instagram. Big shout outs to Dom underscore Maurice and also Alexander underscore Teresi for following me over on my IG. Much appreciated, you two. If you guys don't follow your boy, man, at your dig, make sure you go follow your boy. You guys know what to do. Go show me some love over there. It's much appreciated. And also you can see my merch pieces I have available on my big cartel on screen right now if you guys are interested in purchasing one link will be in the description and as always thanks a lot for watching if you guys haven't make sure that like subscribe comment turn on notifications all that good youtube stuff and there are more videos of mine on screen right now make sure to check them out if you haven't